I'm Robert Militich, Chair of the Faculty Senate and Professor of Nuclear Medicine and Neurology. On behalf of the graduates, the candidates for degrees, the faculty, the staff, and the families and friends of the graduates and candidates, I hereby declare this commencement of the University at Buffalo to be open. Hello, I am Scott Weber, UB's Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to the virtual spring 2021 University at Buffalo Educational Opportunity Center commencement. While we are staying physically apart to protect the health and safety of our campus, it is important for us to come together virtually on this very special day for our graduates, for their families and friends, and for our entire university. Education comes with hard work, sacrifice, and expectations the expectation that the hard work will pay off for you as individuals and for your families, and the expectation that everyone will benefit as you use your hard-won knowledge to advance society. UB is committed to changing the world and improving the human condition through our research, educational engagement activities, and as a public university, UB connects its mission with the needs of our local community and New York State. In New York and around the world, there is a growing knowledge-based economy that requires a specialized workforce. UB's Educational Opportunity Center enables students like you to contribute the strongest services in the economy. Graduates, the credentials you have earned are a significant step toward attaining your educational and employment goals. You've worked hard to develop a vital skill set that will help you transition into the exciting future opportunities. Your UB EOC experience will empower you to realize your full potential as creative, skilled, and confident individuals. As you pursue your goals, I urge you to continue learning and work hard to reach others, change lives, and make a meaningful difference in the world around you. In doing so, you will enrich yourself, strengthen your communities, and continue to make UB and our community proud. I give my heartfelt congratulations to our 2021 UB Educational Opportunity Center graduates for achieving this milestone. While this day marks the end of one journey, it also marks the beginning of another one for you and for your families. Go forward and do great things. I'm Dr. Julius Greg Adams, Executive Director of the Buffalo Educational Opportunity Center. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the Buffalo EOC, Ms. Mary Craig, Chairperson, EOC Advisory Council, and Ms. Lisa McKay, Associate Provost and Director, University Center for Academic and Workforce Development, the State University of New York, I would like to welcome you to our 48th commencement ceremony. Due to the COVID-19 virus, the Buffalo EOC has decided to hold this year's commencement in a virtual environment. This decision was not made lightly, but was made with the health of our students and the entire community as our priority. I understand the disappointment that you must feel in not being able to participate in an in-person graduation with your family and friends. However, I hope that you agree with me that your safety is of the utmost importance. We hope that once the pandemic subsides, we will be able to host an event for those students who participated in our virtual graduations. We at the Buffalo EOC are so proud of all of our graduates and of their extended families who have contributed so much to their success. When some said you could not accomplish anything, you proved them wrong and you did it. When some said you would not amount to anything, you pulled additional strength from within and did it. When it seemed that life was against you, you stood your ground and excelled. I welcome you to today's celebration and to the next stage in your life. I hope that you are as in awe of your accomplishments as I am. Hello graduates and congratulations. Let me first of all begin by thanking the University of Buffalo leadership for inviting me to take part in this historic occasion. Specifically, Dr. Julius Adams, the outstanding executive director of UB's Educational Opportunity Center. 
I'm truly humbled and honored to speak with you today on such a momentous occasion in your lives, a moment that will be ingrained in your hearts and minds forever. It's also a new normal ceremony of sorts, a reflection of the extraordinary times we're continuing to experience as a state, as a nation, and as a global community. The COVID-19 pandemic has impacted New Yorkers in so many ways. Whether we're talking about people out of work as businesses shut down to prevent the spread of the virus, or the healthcare workers who dedicated shift after shift to the thousands who flooded their hospitals at the height of the lockdown, often sacrificing weeks and even months away from their families, or whether we're talking about students like all of you, people pursuing their educational goals in order to take that next step in their careers. We all saw a seismic shift in the way we learn and communicate. They say that the graduating classes coming out of the pandemic will be more resilient than any other because they've had to adapt and pivot to new standards and expectations over the last year and a half. And I have no doubt that that will be true. Now more than ever, we need people like you, people who can navigate through any storm fearlessly in order to pursue their passions. My own educational journey also got off to an uncertain start. It all started way back in Buffalo in 1994. I was graduating from high school, trying to figure out the direction in my life. What should I be? Who should I become? Were two questions I often asked myself with a resounding echo in my mind when asked. I really had no inclination as to what I wanted to do with my life at that time when I was graduating from high school. With one exception, I knew no matter what college I decided to choose, there had to be one prerequisite. It had to be a party school. And I was gonna go as far away from my parents as possible to follow my partying dreams. So after being accepted to four different schools in programs varying from English to accounting to business to hotel management, I had my sights set on the promised land. Then the news came. Duval College has accepted me into the occupational therapy program. This was wonderful news for my mother. It was at her urging that I sent an application into the college where she had attended nursing school in the 1960s. It was then at her insistence that I follow through with the invitation to join the occupational therapy program there because as she declared, when you finish, you'll be sure to get a job. When I inquired as to what an occupational therapist was, she'd say, you'll work with people, you're good with people, and it's a perfect fit. So if I dared to push much more about the fact that I even, didn't even know what an OT was, she'd say, you'll find out soon enough. Well, my mother was right. I followed her direction, and I'm certainly glad that I did. The moral of the story here is twofold. Number one, listen to your mother. Secondly, life is full of twists and turns and ups and downs, and if you put your best foot forward, stay true to yourself, Treat others the way you wish to be treated and do things for the right reasons. No matter what direction your life takes, you can be proud of where it has taken you. It was during my time in school that I met some of my best and lifelong friends. Shortly after graduating and while practicing as an occupational therapist, I met my wife Katie, who is a physical therapist. I owe so many of my life's successes to my work in healthcare, to the path it has put me on, the doors it has opened, and the direction it has taken my life, including into politics and into the New York State Senate. As you move forward in your lives, you will someday reflect on this day and the time you put in here at UB. You'll recognize, as I'm sure many of you already have, how transformational your experience have been in your own life. Whether you go on to work in healthcare, home care, child care, customer service, the building and construction trades, or whatever it may be, the skills that you learned here and the effort you put in here to take your life to the next level have built you into an even stronger person that you are today. I've seen firsthand what you will soon accomplish. You will change lives. And however you choose to do that, I'd ask you to do this. Lead with character lead with empathy, and lead with kindness. Above all, lead. Those of us who have worked in healthcare often say, hope to the troubled, courage to those in doubt. The basis to which any of our professions are formed revolves around one goal, helping others. 
As you graduate into this new world post-pandemic, there's no doubt in my mind that your education here at the University at Buffalo has prepared you to put your best foot forward and help those who need it the most. Thank you once again for asking me to celebrate with you all today, and I wish you all the best of luck in your days ahead. Congratulations. I'm Deborah E.J. Thompson, Associate Executive Director of the Buffalo Educational Opportunity Center. It is my honor and pleasure to announce the recipients of the honors and academic awards presented by the Buffalo EOC. Distinguished Alumni Award. The Distinguished Alumni Award is offered annually to an alumnus or alumna who is self-directed and committed to excellence and demonstrates the Buffalo Educational Opportunity Center's mission of lifelong learning. Arthur O. Eve Education and Community Service Award. The Arthur O. Eve Education and Community Service Award is awarded to a student or alumnus or alumna who demonstrates leadership, advocacy, community service, and or commitment to education, honoring the legacy of Mr. Eve. In recognition of Mr. Eve's tireless efforts to make educational attainment a reality for all and his life's attributes of leadership, advocacy, community service, and unwavering commitment to education, the Buffalo EOC established the Arthur O. Eve Education and Community Service Award. Known for his work with the least, the last, and the lost members of our community, Deputy Speaker Arthur O. Eve served in the New York State Assembly for 35 years. Friend of the EOC Award. The Friend of the EOC Award is presented to an individual or an organization that has demonstrated keen understanding and outstanding support of the mission of the Buffalo EOC, our student body, and the community we serve. Faculty and Staff Student Incentive Awards. The EOC Faculty and Staff Student Incentive Awards are presented to students who have demonstrated academic excellence, perfect attendance, exemplary conduct, and achievements, and the ability to overcome challenges. I'd like to congratulate this year's awardees. And now, it is my pleasure to recommend to you the students of the class of 2021. They have met all necessary requirements as prescribed by faculty and staff of the Buffalo Educational Opportunity Center to complete their respective programs. By the authority given to me, by the Buffalo Educational Opportunity Center and the University of Buffalo, it is my pleasure to confer upon you the respective certificates that you have earned in your programs at the University of Buffalo Educational Opportunity Center, along with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. Congratulations, graduates. Mickey Alexander. Kadeja Ali. Laylee Baraksai. Ashley Wells. Robert Johnson. Brian Pasiak. Daniel Schroeder. Phyllis Cartwright. Lori Schreiber. Stephen Karen. John Weiss, Jr. Lana Abdulkader, Oksana Ivanchuk, Carla Kipler, Hector Nunez, Rania Kasim, Yasothara Balachandran, Ayana Baldon. Lenu Bari Banu Kayla Barksdale D. 
Deanna Bland Mercedes Bynes Passion Carr Michael Dare Lynn Dower Tammy Donaldson Yanalis Espinosa Carla Evans Deasia Farley Lisa Fisher Precious Gamble Chantrice Gigi Olantanwa Gok Periola Ania Gray Linda Hicks Kira Ingram Lakeisha Jackson Jasmine Johnson Tiffany Kenner Joelle Kaiser Kayla Lowe Hameen Mahatab Nakia Mason Nia Mason Jarrett Murky Tatiana Mirza Jayla Morales Adam Murphy Laban Injuguna Ricardo Nunez Daphne Wafor Oyenike F. Alagbenla Princess Page Alexi Pointer Denise Poole Latasha Pouncey Jasmine Perdue Janet Ricciardi Raquel Rondon Tiana Scott Olga Vasquez Brittany White Amber Whiteside Ashley Wilson Tori Winfrey Sumbule Zara Dahlia Alnunu Unique Coleman Jawahir Fadl Shrok Fadil Latoya Glenn Mohammed Ibrahim Samantha Keeler Alexi Lopez Marwa Majid Gabriela Matina Rakita Minor Os Mbamba Paradise Salik Brenda Santos Josiah Scott Muzamil Sharif Mercedes Woodruff Hajin Ali William Gutowski Octavia Carpenter Kelly Kunselman Sharon Wilson I hereby declare this commencement ceremony of the University at Buffalo to be officially concluded.